friends, welcome to your Graceful Balance Yoga Flow. So today's practice is going to be really focused on a lot of different standing balancing postures, which will not only help you gain more balance, but also help strengthen your core and stability. Now, if this is part of the 14 day yoga journey series for you, welcome to day six. However, if you're just joining us for this class, I'm also happy to have you here today. We won't need any props for this flow, only yourself and your mat. So if you guys are ready, roll that mat out and let's begin. This video is part of our Boho Beautiful program, 14 Days of Free Yoga. You can sign up today for the two-week course consisting of 28 yoga and meditation videos by heading to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga. Whether you are a beginner or restarting your journey again, or if you're just looking to take your practice to new levels, this program was designed to provide all the tools and structure you need. Go to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga and begin your journey today. With that said, let's get back to our practice, grab your mat, and let's begin. All right, friends, so we're gonna get started today actually standing at the top of your mat. So go ahead and come to the top of the mat with your feet together. And we're gonna start by just placing the palms of our hands together like so at the heart. Dropping the shoulders down, away from the ears, close your eyes and just begin to become aware of your body. Become aware of your feet on the mat. Feeling yourself grounded, stable and strong. Taking a deep breath in into the belly, dropping the shoulders down away from the ears as you feel your spine growing up tall towards the sky. Take another deep breath in. On your exhalation, just drop the arms down next to the side of your body. Inhale again, reaching both arms now up towards the ceiling. On your exhalation, interlace your fingers and just extend the index fingers up towards the ceiling and then take a big stretch towards the right side. So we're leaning over to the right, keeping your hips square, our shoulders square towards the front of your mat. So really just feel this nice stretch through the left side. Keep reaching as far as you can. And then come to center. Inhale, reaching tall. Exhale, coming over towards the left now. And again, it's very common to allow that top shoulder to kind of come down. So make sure that your shoulders are square, your head is right in between your arms, and you're just breathing deeply into the side body with each exhalation, allowing yourself to go a little bit deeper. Great, coming back to center. Exhale, release the arms next towards the side of the body and then place them behind your back. Interlace your bow, all your fingers now. Inhale, open up through the chest. Open that heart up to the sky. Exhale, bend your knees and begin to roll yourself all the way down. So bend your knees to start so you can let the chest and the belly simply rest over top of your thighs. And then begin to extend the knees a little bit more as much as you can. Of course, your, your hamstrings are gonna feel a little bit tight at the start, so just be gentle. Don't force anything, just breathe and feel this nice stretch in the shoulders as well. With each exhalation, you wanna think about bringing the fingers as close to the floor as possible. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands, come on down with both of your hands to the floor. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees. Step back into plank position. Let's just hold this plank in. Pull the navel into the spine. Inhale. Exhale, drop the knees to the ground or take a full Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Let's open up through the chest. And then exhale, push it back. Release into your downward facing dog. Great, now just give yourself an opportunity here to go a little bit deeper. Drop the shoulders away from the ears, elongate the neck. 
With each exhalation, allow your heels to come closer down towards the floor. Great, inhale. Exhale. We're gonna walk to the front of your mat again. So walk it forward. Now coming to the front of your mat with your feet about hip width distance apart. Inhale, halfway, come on up, just slide your hands. Then as you exhale, see if you can grab your ankles or the backs of your knees and just begin to allow the body to come as close towards the legs as possible. So coming into a full forward fold here. And for those of you guys that are feeling you want to go even deeper, the next variation is to actually take the entire palm of your hand and place it underneath your feet. So like you're stepping on top of your hands. So whatever variation you take, let's just take an opportunity right now to close the eyes and work with the breath. Deeply inhaling into the belly. And as you exhale, giving yourself the opportunity to let the belly come closer towards the legs. Your head can be relaxed here. Feeling this force of gravity, pulling your neck down, letting go of any tension, decompressing your upper back. Great. And just notice how your body lets go. With each exhalation, you're able to go a little bit deeper. Wonderful. Now from here, letting go of your hands, bend your knees, and we're going to roll up for three, two, and one. Inhale, reach both arms up. Then as you exhale, bring the hands over towards your heart. What we're going to do is the first standing posture, quite simple one, and we'll progress as we go. First one is your tree. So beginners, you can even just place your hand foot to the inside of your calf or place it up towards the inner thigh. So either above or below the knee. And then take both of your hands at your heart. And just begin to find this sense of balance, the sense of stability. Pull the navel into the spine, starting to engage the core. And don't beat yourself up if you end up falling out. If you come out, just come right back in. It's going to take some time for your body to adjust. And sometimes certain days we feel more balanced than others. So it's all good. Good. Just find that focus and that breath. Then from here, let's release the arms. Reach both arms up. Take that knee that's pointed out away from you and bring it inward towards the body. And then from here, we're just going to grab that right knee. That's variation one. Variation two, flex your foot. Take your right foot with your left hand and then begin to see if you can extend this leg. That's variation two. Variation three is full extension of your knee and then taking your arm behind. Good, and just hold. So whatever version you're taking, Focus, breathe, know that you are exactly where you need to be right now. And it doesn't matter which version you're doing, you're getting amazing benefits in your entire body. One more inhale. Exhale, you're going to let go of this leg. You're going to step it all the way back into your lunge position, hands down onto the floor. Inhale, look up. Exhale, press the hands down, step back into plank position, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push it back, release into your downward facing dog. Inhale, look to the top of the mat, lift your heels, bend your knees, take two steps or maybe a hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Start to roll up for three, for two, and one. Inhale, arms up, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands to heart. Let's take our tree on the other side now. So bring that left knee up. Place it to the inside of your right thigh or your calf. Pull the navel into the spine. Hips are square. Hands are at your chest, at your heart. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Breathe. Focus. Become the watcher of your mind as you're holding this balancing posture. Notice the thoughts that come in. Notice if there is any frustration, impatience. Just notice and be aware. Take another deep breath in. You're doing great, guys. Exhale. Just extend and reach both arms up towards the ceiling. 
From here, let's take that left knee, bring it in towards your belly button, and then place both hands on the knee. So again, friends, version one, you're just going to hold and still work on that balance, pulling the knee to the chest. Version two, your opposite hand grabs the outside of your left foot, and you're just going to start by standing here and then seeing how far you can extend this knee forward. Version three is a full extension, and then reaching that left arm behind you. Hold it here and breathe. Whatever version you take, find your breath. Ooh, see, I even lose my balance here sometimes. Good, so just hold and breathe. Inhale. Beautiful job. Exhale, we're going to let go of the leg. You're going to cartwheel the arms down as you step your left foot to the very back of your mat into your lunge position. Inhale. Exhale, step back into plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, take it down. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then as you exhale, downward facing dog. Well done. Just take a breath. Take a moment. Inhale. Exhale, from here, take your left foot, step it to the top of the mat. From here, open and ground that right heel down. And then from this position, you're just cartwheeling the arms and we're opening into our warrior two. So arms out to the side, strong arms, shoulders down, away from the ears. Pull the navel into the spine and drop that tailbone downward. Hold, make sure you can see your big toe from where you are. That means your knee is aligned. Open up that front palm of your hand. Exhale, peaceful warriors. We reach back. Stretching out that side body again. Inhale. Just breathe here. Exhale. Come back to your warrior two. And then from here, either take your left elbow onto your knee and just take your extended side angle. You can take it a little further by extending the arm and placing the fingertips onto the mat like so. Next variation is more advanced, so I will just demonstrate, and for those of you that want to do it, follow me. Next variation is to take a bind. So you're going to take that right arm behind your back, and then you're going to take this left arm, you're going to bring it through, and then see if you can meet both hands together. Once you connect the hands, then you open yourself into your bind. Breathing here. Hold and open. Last variation is your bird of paradise. Now it's quite advanced, so if you guys, any of you out there that's more of a beginner, what you're going to do is simply either hold your extended side angle, or I'll show you what you can do to modify it to more of a beginner level. However, my advanced students, what you're going to do to transition is step your back foot to the front of your mat like this, so keeping your bind. Beginners, just step forward to the front of your mat and both hands are going to stay down. Then, first coming into our bird of paradise, your foot, your right foot is grounded. You're going to lift yourself up. So see if you can keep that bind and then you're coming up and holding this position and then eventually, with time, extending this left leg, holding your bird of paradise. Keep holding here, my beginner friends, or if anyone that's just not ready for this, maybe you're not a beginner but not into bird of paradise today, what you can do is come on up and just grab that knee and pull it towards your shoulder and just hold it here. So still working on the opening of the hips but without the crazy binds and things like that, okay? So whatever variation you're in, enjoy it. Find your balance, find your breath. And then whatever you are, let's all release together. Come on down with this foot, drop it down, release both hands, bend your knees, roll back up for three, for two, and one. Well done. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive it down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step back, plank position, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push it back, release into your downward facing dog. Good. 
Great job. Let's do the other side. Right foot's going to step to the front of your mat. Ground the left heel. Cartwheel the arms out. So again, now we're getting into that warrior two on the other side. Drop the shoulders. Pull the navel in. Tailbone down. Hold strong arms here. Just finding that balance, that focus, that center. Opening that right palm of your hand. Take your peaceful warrior. Take it back. Breathe. Beautiful. Just find that breath. Bring it into the side body. Welcoming, releasing any tension, any stiffness. Come on forward. This time, either elbow onto the knee as you reach your left arm extended side angle. Variation two is releasing your hand down. Hold. Variation three, let's take the bind. So if you're binding, top arm comes behind your back. Then your front arm comes forward and through that right leg and then connect the, palm, the hands together and then you open. Opening your body, looking up towards the sky in your bind. This is a really incredible way to also feel a release in your psoas, so your entire hip flexor. Really deep stretch with so much benefit. Great. Now let's transition into a bird of paradise. So bring your gaze down. So if you'd like to stay in your bind, stay in your bind. If you want to take the easier variation, just release and place both hands to the front of your mat. Then from here, we're going to step your back foot forward and then shift all of your weight to that left foot. Now, whether you're in your bind or not, bring your weight into your left foot. Start to lift your body. Then bringing your right knee up. And again, you're either holding here or extending into a full bird of paradise. All right, so you can either stay halfway. So this is a halfway pose. The other beginner or a little easier variation is to just pull the knee in and hold. Sometimes I don't like to say beginner because some people may not consider themselves beginner but feel discouraged if they can't do the full pose. So this is just a variation, okay, depending on where you are. All right, so if you're in full bird of paradise or the variation, come on out. So bringing the foot down. So if you're in your bind, you're going to bring it down first. Then we release both hands. Release both feet on the mat. Great. Let's roll it up for three. For two, and one, inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, dive it down. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, step back into plank position, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, push back, release into your downward facing dog. All right, last two breaths here, friends. Just find that center and focus and let it go. Find your presence. Find that peace within your breath. Let it all go. And then from here, let's drop down to our knees. Just come down into child's pose. We're gonna take our arms next to the side of the body here and just rest your forehead. Closing off our practice today with just a gentle release of the back, giving the body the opportunity to completely let go and relax. Just breathing here. Feel your heart beating in your chest. With awareness, slow down that heart rate. Connect. Let go. Beautiful, one more inhale. And then when you're ready, let's exhale, slowly come on up. And just transition yourself over to seated position on your mat. With your feet crossed in front of you. Closing the eyes and just reconnecting with your own breath, with your own stillness, with your own being. You can keep your hands on the knees if you wish just relax the shoulders and let's just take two deep breaths here 
Just feeling yourself balanced, re-energized, and strong from within. Once you're ready, go ahead and just bring the palms of your hands together. Place them over to your heart. And bow down towards your heart. Thanking yourself for your beautiful practice today. For challenging yourself in different ways. For finding patience with yourself. And understanding that all of this is just a journey. And that the experiences we go through through our journey are the most beautiful and magical things about being alive. So thank yourself for giving yourself the opportunity to experience that today. Thank you for joining me on the mat. Congratulations on completing day six of the 14-day yoga journey. I send you my love. I send you my light. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste. If you enjoyed this class and are looking to take your practice up a notch, when you sign up for our Boho Beautiful 14 Days of Free Yoga, you will receive a coupon where you can choose to experience this complete yoga and meditation program on Boho Beautiful Official, free for the entire two weeks. There, all of the videos are uninterrupted and ad-free, completely downloadable with a custom calendar and daily journal. Plus, you get access to our entire catalog of exclusive classes and content, all with absolutely no risk or cost to you. Go to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga and start your journey today.